Like a geo-office, America's wizard, we'll describe a tool that will help us to create our coordinate systems in North America, automatically attach the associated geoid models, and additionally will help us to install the National Geodetic Survey antenna definitions that we frequently need for some of our survey activities. Let's start with a little bit of background. Prior to version 8.0 of Leica GeoOffice, we had the North America option on the installation, which did install the projection parameters, or the zones as they were called, for the state plane coordinate systems in the U.S. Uh, from 8.0 beyond, uh, we use the America's Wizard, which the remainder of this video will illustrate to us. So if we take a look now, this is uh, LGO 8.2, a brand new install, and we'll see that we don't have any coordinate systems defined at this point in time, uh, except for the uh, NUN and the WGS84, which are system defaults. So the remainder of this video will be taking a look at how the America's Wizard will help us get the projections and uh, geoid model information and the other things that we need to go along with that. Additionally, uh, Leica GeoOffice is always installed with all of the Leica uh, default antenna F definitions through time, and we can see that there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, as always, a system default is identified by a red circle with a white X in it. Uh, we can see how the America's Wizard will also help us install the NGS antenna definitions. So if we are getting data from core sites, for processing with some of our Leica data or other things, we can use those definitions throughout and have them loaded automatically into the system. The America's Wizard is on the Leica GeoOffice DVDs or can be obtained from logging into your My World account. So let's take a look at how to do that. I've entered my email and my password and I'll go into my My World account. I will go up to My Products once I'm in there. And take a look at my Leica GeoOffice entry. So I'll just click that and look at the details. And then if I go over to the Tools tab, I'll notice that the current version of the America's Wizard is a little ways down the page. Uh, it's version 1.30, which is the most current at the time of this recording. I would want to download that and put it to a folder that I'll be able to find later on. Okay, the file that I downloaded from my world is called America's Wizard 1.30 zip. You can see that I put it in a folder called America's Wizard on my hard drive so that I could find it easily. And I've already extracted the contents of that archive, and you'll see the five files here that create the wizard. There's not really an install for the wizard. You just run the executable file, and then you get the Windows warning uh, whether you want to run that or not, and I'll say yes, run it. And now we've got the welcome screen for the America's Wizard. If I select Next, I can accept the terms of the license agreement and then select Next once again and we'll see that I can select the country. The choices that we have are Canada, the Caribbean, Costa Rica, Mexico, and the U.S. In this example, I'll select the U.S. and we'll select Next at this point in time. I can choose to, if I have not loaded them previously, which we saw before, I didn't have the NGS antenna definitions loaded, I can select that. I also want to create a coordinate system or some coordinate systems and attach geoid models to those coordinate systems automatically. So now I'll select next and in this case we can we could if we wanted the UTM for the US we could select UTM USA and that would create the UTM zones for the entire continental US and a little bit more I believe. If we select the box down below 
uh, include CSCS or country specific coordinate system models, then I could choose to select uh, add my NAD27 definitions. Finally, in this case, uh, I don't want to install all of the coordinate systems. I just want to go to the western zone and install the coordinate systems for California. So now I'll select next and I've got a choice of the geoid models from geoid 96 right on up through geoid 09 as to which geoid models I would like to attach. I've got the box to automatically attach the geoid models to the coordinate systems that I've selected. In this case I'll select geoid 09 and have, have the California zones created with a geoid 09 definition already attached. And then finally, I can go back and modify my selection, or I just press next to carry on, and we'll see it'll install the coordinate systems, the antennas, and the joid models, and then once I'm done, I would just press finish. Now, since I've run this wizard before, I'm getting an error message, or a warning symbol. This can be ignored. All it's doing is telling me that certain things had been installed previously. If you had not run the wizard before, you would not need to worry about that. Uh, and I'll select finish at this point in time and the wizard is done. Now as we go back into like a geo office if we take a look at our coordinate systems under the management toolbar we'll see that the California zones 1 through 6 have been added. There's one without the geoid model attached as well as uh, the zones with the geoid 09. Had I requested Geoid 03, it would have also attached Geoid 03 to each of those as well. So we've got those, and if we look at our properties on that, we can see that we've got a fully populated proper state plane zone set up for us. If we look under our antennas, we'll see that there's a lot of non-default antennas that have been added. These are the current NGS antenna definitions that were available at the time of the compile of the wizard. If we scroll down a ways, we'll see here we've got all the Leica antennas um, <clears throat> as well, according to the NGS Absolute Definitions. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful on showing you how to use the America's Wizard. A couple of things to note that when you do run the wizard, LGO should not be running because it is accessing the LGO databases. One other advantage that I find is that by utilizing the wizard, for creating your coordinate systems. The naming is consistent. Here's California, Zone 6, NAD83 with Geoid 09. Here's California, Zone 6, NAD83, and there's no Geoid model attached. So there's no ambiguity in the naming. And if you're sending these out for multiple crews to use on their field controllers, everybody's using the same naming for their systems. As always, if you require more information, Check our website at lyca-geosystems.com. For support, send an email to survey.support at lycaus.com, or you can make support inquiries and obtain other information from MyWorld. If you haven't registered for MyWorld, we'd recommend that you do so now.